You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing a, a couple of more games on the Mega Drive Mini. Let me start off with Ghouls and Ghosts here. It's amazing how this series has always been present on these classic games. Oh wait, the PS1 didn't have... Anyway... Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try this out. I admittedly am not really any good at this game. <laughs> of course, I think a lot of us, if we're being honest, not really good at the at the this particular series given its notorious difficulty. Although with um, with practice, uh, with practice, I'm sure we can eventually become masters at this game. And right off the bat, the first thing that I would realize or conclude is that how much this is better than um, the Super NES, I mean the Nintendo uh, Ghosts and Ghouls or Goblins games. I mean the scrolling is smooth. No slowdown, at least. And I'd like to say that it's because of blast processing, but um, in case you haven't really heard, there is really no such thing as blast processing. It's all just a marketing hype. But anyway, it's uh, still very important to Sega's history. So we'll give it that. I must wonder though... Is um, this series really that... Requested that much the love that it's included in almost every classic uh, compilation because growing up, uh, I've never heard of this being held in the same high regard as, uh, say, you know, Mega Man or Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden. I guess they needed to add a game that's so uh, frustratingly fun <laughs> that it actually defines the generation of being notoriously hard but still enjoyable. I guess this is the perfect example of it. half of the first stage. <laughs> ah. Armor, please. No. Oh, man. Uh. for that same trap. Okay. 
anyway um, I still conclude that if you're gonna play one of these games you might as well play this one that's included on the Sega collection it's much more playable in my opinion at least than the ones that were included on the Nintendo mini systems they're not really the same game I suppose it's a uh, sequel after sequel after sequel but just the fact that this is actually smooth and um, doesn't have that terrible slowdown that the SNES version has it makes this much more desirable to play Ah. That is one large sprite. Anyway, let's go ahead and try other games. Let's see. Um, I'm beginning to actually forget which ones I haven't played. I don't believe I've played this one yet. Gunstar Heroes, very popular run and gun. Made by Treasure, an uh, essential to every Sega 16-bit collection. So this is what actually for me is another reason to get the to prefer the Sega Mini over the its counterpart, the SNES Mini. This one has two am I right? Two run and gun games. Contra and this one. Well, you can probably count Alien Soldier, but it's you know not the same type of run and gun that uh, this one in Contra provides. While the SNES only has Contra 3, um, I suppose it's debatable which is actually better between the two. you can make me choose one over the other as far as uh, run and gun games go it's always been Contra, Metal Slug and this one sure if it's hitting something or not but I suppose when it moves it means it's targeting something Because of its uh, it twice 
like doubling everything that the Nintendo offering has, we end up with much more two-player games. And um, I think it's another reason to own this particular system over the SNES, the Nintendo one. But I doubt there's someone out there that's just gonna buy this one and not the Nintendo one. I'm sure everyone who has this probably has the Nintendo one also. I'm a, I'm a gamer first, collector second, and even though I can play this, let's say on a hacked uh, S Classic, yeah, I still bought one. <laughs> Alright, game is all good, let's go ahead and fire up another game. Take notice, I'm not saving my progress because I want to repeat them again soon when I'm done trying all these games. Okay, what else have I not played? How about... Target Earth. Um... Is this the one that looks like Cybernator? I uh, can't remember. Well, let's see. I, okay. Yeah, it is. But it's smaller. <laughs> time. It's part of the experience of uh, controlling a, like a mobile suit. Back in the day, I don't remember anyone talking about this game though. But I'm sure there's a good enough reason why this is uh, selected over... You know, I think there are about over 900 games available for the uh, Genesis. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to kill something or grab something? Destroy that one, am I? Ah! That's what I get for not reading the text, even though it's in English. <laughs> All right, something simpler, please. How about this one? Super Fantasy Zone. Uh, if I remember right, this is one of the. This is an arcade game. Side scroller that um, you're like in a fixed field, actually. Oh, come on. Yes. 
supposed to destroy those things. And then you'll eventually move to the next stage. And then you'll fight a bigger enemy, like a boss, of course. Five more. So the game looks simple, but it's actually pretty challenging. Thing it's straight to the boss. Yep, I am bad at that game. So yeah, running theme is that um, I'm not really good at any Sega game, and uh, I'm not surprised. Since I never grew up with one, I um, eventually had one. I gave them all just a like, quick try before. But I didn't really particularly spend that much time on the console as much as I did with, uh, let's say, Nintendo consoles, which I've been playing on a very regular basis since childhood. Almost tempted to edit that whole segment out, <laughs> but okay, I'm keeping it real. This is gameplay of a uh, can't really say first timer, but uh, non regular Genesis player. I think the most regular, the most, uh, I mean, the Sega game that I actively really played would be Fatal Fury and Street Fighter. <laughs> and I remember it clearly because I would go to a friend's house and, um, yeah, we'd have some uh, matches. didn't have one, so I'm, I was eager to see the fatalities, like for the first time in real life, not on video game. <sighs> Alright, that's it. I am going to leave it here, I'll probably come back soon. When I'm uh, much better, and um, what the heck, I'll have one last game. I'll try this one. Beside it, slap fight, arcade shooter from Toaplan. This should be good. All right, let's leave it at default there.
Oh, so it looks like it's a vertical radius because... I get power-ups there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Not bad. Yep, it's definitely like previous. Ugh. I needed the speed up. Inside kinda die so fast, I'll try to survive and get a uh, shield. <laughs> of course I couldn't make it. Alright, that was a uh, slap fight. And uh, alright, finally, I'll that should be it for this video. And um, Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. You're watching 8 days a week. See you in the next video.